that he made, uh, that actually plays. And this is the chamber pot, which he just finished tonight. There's one more piece that has to go over here, which is drying in a box in the back. But other than that, it's pretty much all together. And it's based on the cigar box guitar from the early 20th century. Um, but it's got a little bit nicer wood. This is made of plywood here from skateboard ramps that we like to ride. And then it's got a it's got a maple top. So you can see the flame in the maple, like this one is. And the neck is also made out of a hunk of maple that he carved himself, um, hand carved with files and all this medieval stuff in the garage, right? This one happens to be a resonator type where it actually has a, and then originally they would put a tin speaker inside you know, to make the sound kind of more pronounced back in the, the 30s and 40s when the guitar players were playing with big bands and they couldn't keep up with the horns and the pianos and stuff. This one actually has a, a cake tin mold inside of it for the, uh, for the resonator. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. I found this piece in a thrift store. It's like from a stove or something. I don't know what. So we cut a hole in it and use that. And he's got like a piece of rosewood that he made for the tailpiece. And it's like in the shape of a coffin kind of deal. Uh, pretty fun little piece you made here. So it actually plugs in too because I mean, this is like a guitar out playing on stage and stuff and, uh, with the speakers and the PAs. But it's got some sound to it too. So it's got, it's got like brand new stuff.